Welcome to another season of Soul Seekers. On this episode, Tony and Johnny take Iron Will Weber and head across state borders for their very first out-of-state hunt. We meet up with Dennis Stokes and Joe Elliston, the owners of Initial Ascent Backpacks, in search of Bruins during the month of May. Stay tuned and stay soulful. I'm Johnny Mack. Hunting has transformed my life unlike anything else. It has fulfilled my soul, provided purpose, brought adventure, and created a community of support. Follow along with me as I set off into the wild to ignite my soul while seeking to transform the lives of others. Welcome to Soul Seekers. Season 3 of Soul Seekers, transforming lives through primal adventure. I'm coming. Put that camera down. Yeah. <laughs> hey, good one. Saddle up. We're going spring bear hunting 2022. Idaho. Let's go. As we loaded up our packs and set off towards our destination, it wasn't long before the fruitfulness of Idaho started to reveal itself as we got our legs under us and focused on the goods of what nature provides. Dude, we just started our hike and already we're in the goods. The bounty of Idaho taking shape right here. Look at these morel mushrooms. We're heading in. I'm gonna cook these up some bear meat tonight. Primo! No, just a bush. Psych out number one. <laughs> With Will never have taken a black bear before, Iron Will was first up in the shooting order. Like every hunt, there are always things to be learned, and one of the lessons from this trip came much sooner than we anticipated. While bending a corner in the trail, we jumped a bear, and I was the only one with a gun out as I quickly moved Will into the second shooter position for this trip. For your scope lens, dude. Second man on the trail. Hey, we're good on the wind. Yeah. Came around. There was a bear right here in this drainage, looking uphill. Everyone's guns in their packs, and I had mine, so I quickly. But I forgot that my scope was on 15 pound. I had a hard time finding it, and so I sent it. Okay, how close was that shot? Um, over oh, top of it. Good stuff, man. We have had action already. I know, I only want two. I only got back straps. Hey, hey, I left. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're eating. <laughs> so. <laughs> I left them all in the truck. That freaking sucks, man. He's <laughs> alright, dude. You got some action. As it turns out, always being prepared starts with the smallest of things, and one of those being to make sure your scope power is turned down all the way before setting off. The other being that you never know when your opportunity is going to happen, so just like the Boy Scouts, it's best to always be prepared, and in this case, that means having your weapon at the ready. As we made our way to camp to stake our claim and set off for an evening of glassing and learning our area, the echo in our mind lingered of the missed opportunity. With the sun setting on day one and having action on the trip already, spirits were high and we enjoyed being all together in God's beautiful creation. Yeah, hey, Max, we're having a morning powwow. You know what? That's cool. Day, hey guys, listen, it's day two here up here on the mountain. Is Joe coming in today? Yeah. So. So Dennis's partner Joe's coming in to join us. Willie's up on the gun. It's gonna be a great time, unless I decide to, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, Will. Yeah. Shoot or shoot. 
Shooters, <laughs> we're gonna shoot. <laughs> Day two started with covering a lot of ground as we scoured the hills and surrounding mountains looking for our quarry. I'm a firm believer in the old 90s term of cross training and I love to apply it to hunting as well. Even though we are on a bear hunt, I am constantly taking mental note of the different animals that we see in hopes that the opportunity arises to return in the fall and I can have a good idea where animals might be. This concept was fruitful for me back in season one of Soul Seekers as I came back into our spring bear location and harvested a nice late season buck. While glassing, we turned up a few deer and even some elk, but the bears remained elusive. Knowing that Joe Elliston, the other owner of Initial Ascent, and his son Brody were going to meet us, it was time to move out. What we're gonna do is we're, we're changing it up. We're gonna get off this godforsaken mountain and we're gonna head back that way. And then we're gonna work our way back to camp. And then we actually might even hunt past camp depending on how it looks and what we see, so. This manure's so fresh. <laughs> It happened while we were sitting up on the hill. But uh, yeah, the bear was right here while we were up there. Super fresh. Hey man, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good. good. <laughs> Finally here with Mighty Joe Ellison, initial son, son Brody. We got to meet at the Western Hunt Expo in Salt Lake City. They already saw some bear, some elk, some deer. And all we've been doing is picking our nose, so we're gonna make this hunt happen. It's time to, <laughs> time to crank it up to 11. With little time left in the evening and no bears spotted on day two, it was fun to connect with Joe and Brody and fill them in on our close encounter from day one. Knowing that we just missed a bear no more than 500 yards away from us downhill, our hopes were high for the remainder of the hunt. One of the best parts of hunting is sharing the stories. So even though the group would best be served by splitting up to cover more ground, we decided to stay together to build camaraderie and enjoy the company of our friends. Well, we're gonna call it a night. We uh, saw some elk, saw some deer, no bears, but there's always tomorrow. Until there's not. <laughs> Sal and two cubs up here on the hill. And uh, these are probably the Sal and two cubs that we were, that Joe spotted yesterday hiking in. But this is a good sign. This bear's been working further up in the canyon. So, we're gonna get to enjoy this right now. This is awesome. We're on bears, baby. Awesome. What does day three hold for us, boys? Well, we've got it off to a good start, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, three bears already. And uh, we're not even done with the first cup of coffee. Man, when we get to start seeing bears, knowing that we're on a bear hunt, it helps. It helps the morale. It it hel it's a pick me up. No yeah. question. Yeah, just a, just a little bit. And then, of course, there's always the day one debacle. Missing bears. It's okay. Missing home. Missing home. Missing my sweet lady. Love my children. Exit the state right. Stay right. Okay, be careful. Good luck, Go get them, bud. Stay safe. The morning of day three was off to a great start, and this time our game plan was to split up and cover as much ground as possible, knowing it was just a matter of time before we turned up a shooter. There was a lot of country to glass and I'm a firm believer that the universe is rigged in our favor. It is just a matter of time before things come together and our opportunity arises. I think concentrating your glassing efforts halfway up the mountain and down mm -hmm. toward the river or the creek. Um, it's probably our best bet because it's much, much greener in here as we get lower um, right. than it was where we were yesterday. Yeah. As we continued to move in glass, searching each draw, we turned up a gorgeous chocolate-colored bear a little over a thousand yards away. Oh yeah, look at it. 
Unfortunately, it was on the move and we needed to cover ground quickly. In closing the distance, the bear gave us a slip. But where one bear is, there is always another, as we quickly noticed a dark spot moving high on the hill. Oh boy, is that a freaking bear right there? Do you see him, Will? No. You want to scramble up to that flat rock? Way up there? Yeah. Sure. Is this one going to fall on me for me? And then I got him. 450, 445. Alright, whenever you're ready. Yeah. Get your parallax, you good to go? Yeah. Hi. He's running downhill, right towards us. Going left. There he, he is. There he is. Will, how'd your shot feel? He didn't hit it. Oh, good. It was right on. He's, he took off left. Yeah, he went behind that rock. Good job, you just shot at your first bear. It was 450 yards or so uphill. Good spot, Johnny. That was a good spot. I just turned around and there's a bear. Almost had it. Started hard left on my follow-up shot, but do you feel like you rushed your follow-up? A uh, little bit. Yeah. But the first one felt great. The second one felt good, but I might not have been leveled up on it. That might have been why it went left. Yardage was on. Almost fair down. Though. Wild. Wild, dude. <laughs> Did you, uh, your first hunt was on a black bear hunt and you just took your first shot of black bear. Took my first two shots. Hey! hey two shots. <laughs> it felt good. It was in the crosshairs. And was your heart rushing? To be honest with you, it, it was rushing more on the second shot than it was on the first shot. Yeah. As we quickly found out, hunting is a game of inches, and even though Will missed on his first shot, I wholeheartedly believe that he would have killed the bear on his second shot if it wasn't for the tiny branch in the direct path of the bullet. Filming hunts has its challenges, and in moments like these provides its weight in gold as reviewing the footage proved to be fruitful in providing a reason as to why the bear got to live another day. With the weather shifting and not much time left in our hunt, we did our best to turn up more bears, but they were unfortunately not cooperating. Battling the head game of two missed opportunities on this hunt is a haunting thought and a reminder of why they call it hunting in the first place, as nothing is guaranteed and being close is a great, but only ends up counting in horseshoes and hand grenades. Oh, it's last morning, we're packing out. We've had a great time with Dennis of Initial Ascent and his partner Joe. Uh, Will got to learn a lot on his first spring bear hunt. We hunted out of state for the very first time, which was super exciting. We're on our way out. We got some uh, plans that we got to take care of. Maybe we'll see a bear on the way out. If not, I'm J-Mac, Soul Seekers, out. Thanks for joining us on this adventure of Soul Seekers. As always, freedom on and stay soulful. Status update. <laughs> Hiking in. Saw probably the biggest, fattest bear I've ever seen. And I shot and missed. But you know what they say, you miss every shot you never take. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're gonna fill this up with elk turds. Get this. <laughs> so you gotta try this. <laughs> That was a great, great hunt. I can't wait to do that again. I do a couple things differently.
like not this. <laughs> It's all good. It's all good though because at the end of the day, I didn't really want to shoot a bear. JK, I really want to shoot a bear.